If you're looking for a home exercise workout routine that you can do with very minimal equipment and body weight exercise, this is the video you need to check out. Hey, what's up guys? Nick Helton, physical therapist, and I'm gonna make my intro kind of short today. I've created a full exercise routine, mostly focused on the upper body, so the shoulders, the upper back, the neck, that sort of thing that you can perform with minimal equipment. The things that I do recommend is a exercise band, a yoga mat, maybe some padding for underneath your knees like a pillow, um, and maybe some light weights if you have any laying around. Now in the video, I go through how to perform every exercise and I also include some ways to regress it so to make it slightly easier and some ways to progress it so to make it a little bit harder. What I want you to try and do is go through the whole thing and take minimal rest. I explained it a little bit more in the video, but each exercise you're going to be performing for about a minute and you're going to have minimal rest breaks in between. All right, so let's start the workout. We're going to be doing circuit training, body weight exercises that really require very minimal equipment at home. And I'm gonna show you ways to make it harder or easier based on your individual level. So we're gonna start off with some movement and mobility kind of prep work to get ready for the actual working sets. These are designed to just get your body moving and shouldn't be terribly challenging um, from, a, from a difficulty standpoint. So the first cluster or circuit uh, that we're going to be doing is going to be three different exercises that we're going to go through twice and we're gonna do 15 repetitions on each exercise. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. What I want you to do is follow along with me. For this cluster of exercises, again, we're just doing 15 reps for each individual exercise. So let's get started. Our first movement, get your back up against the wall. I want you to pull your head up as tall as you possibly can, maintain a nice upright posture. And then we're gonna start doing some overhead shoulder reaches. So two, three, four, five. Keep going until you get 15, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right after that, jump right into the foam roll exercise. If you don't have a foam roll at home, you can use a pillow, you can use a towel, you can use a rolled up yoga mat, whatever you have. Put a little bit of a soft brace behind your back. And the goal is to reach and extend your upper back with your shoulder. So we're going to do reps here. So 15 reps, one, two, three, to make this easier, four, you can also five, put your hands behind your head, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Take your foam roll, move it out of the way. Last exercise in this cluster is gonna be shoulder taps. So what we're gonna do, kind of an upright plank position here, we're gonna alternate tapping our shoulders. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. To make this easier, go on your knees. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's the easy modification is on the knees. Let's go through that whole set one more time. Try not to take too much rest on the, especially the initial rounds because these are a little bit easier. So let's start off again. Upright flexion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Again, try and go up as high as you can on that reach. Grab your foam roller again, place that in the upper mid back. Don't go into your low back. That's probably not going to feel too good. And we're going to do 15 overhead flexion. One, two, three, four. Be sure to breathe. Five, 
six, seven, again, hands behind the head, eight is easier, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, move our foam roller off to the side, one more set of 15 shoulder taps, if you need to, you can go hands and knees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make it harder into the plank. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Great. So now that you've gone through your warm up, you can take a thirty to sixty second rest. What I'm going to do is set up a timer. So I'm going to have a timer that's going to go off every sixty seconds. Now we're gonna jump into the working sets. So we have three clusters that we're gonna go through, A, B, and C, which our first set of A has three exercises. We're going to do each exercise for a full minute. So the goal is we're gonna do the exercise for the entire 60 seconds, every minute on the minute. Now, the reason we're doing the full 60 seconds and not limiting the repetitions is I don't, I'm gonna do this without using a lot of external stimulus or weights or things like that. So you should be able to perform this exercise for a full 60 seconds. If you can't, that's fine. Just stop when you feel like you can't do any more reps. So let's say you're 45 seconds in and you can't perform the exercise, just go ahead and stop 45 seconds in and take that 15 seconds to rest. There is no shame in resting. If you need to rest, go ahead and rest. But if you feel good, keep pushing through and we can take breaks in between each um, cluster of movements. So between A and between B, but try to go through A those two times without stopping. Should take you about six minutes for this first one. All right, so the first <coughs> series that we're gonna do, first one is going to be a bear crawl, then we're gonna do some push-ups, and then we're gonna go into a bird dog. So if you'd like, for the push-ups, you can use something like handles if you have them. They are not required, you can just do a standard push-up, or you can go onto your knees. But like I said, we're gonna do this for a minute. So what I want you to do is either set a timer at home, or you can just watch the screen. I'm gonna put a little um, timer at the bottom that's going to go across. So you should see this little blue line that's going across. That will signify one minute. Once the timer beeps, we're gonna switch right into the next exercise. All right, ready? All right, timer is started. So first exercise is going to be a bear crawl. We're gonna keep our knees off the ground and we're gonna walk slowly backwards and forwards. Now the idea is with this, we're just trying to keep our spine as level as possible. And we're going to try to keep ourselves level as we're walking back and forth. Again, we're gonna do this for about a minute and then we're gonna switch. If you need a break or you wanna make it easier, just put your knees on the ground. So if you feel like you can't take it, being up in that position for the full minute, toss the knees on the ground and just do a reverse crawl. Whenever you're ready, go back up, pick those knees up and keep walking. Good, now we're gonna jump right into a push-up. I'm gonna use some push-up handles just because I have them handy. If you don't have them at home, don't worry, you don't need to. And we're just gonna do some push-ups. 60 seconds, seems like a lot, and it is. If you need a break, take a break. Or go into a knee push-up. So same thing, knees on the floor, trying to do your push-ups from this position. This works just fine. This is also a real nice way to make it a bit easier while you catch your breath, and then jump back in to a regular push-up. The goal on this is to challenge yourself. So again, some of you are gonna be able to do maybe five of these, some can do 500, but just challenge yourself. There is no specific level of intensity that needs to be maintained here. Perfect, next exercise is the bird dog. So we're gonna get on hands and knees and we're gonna alternate reaching one arm, one leg. If you need to on this one, you can put some padding underneath your knees. <coughs> So I have some soft foam. 
You can set that underneath your knees to make this easier on your knees. This can be a pillow, it can be a rolled up yoga mat, it doesn't matter. But this is a way to make this a little easier. If you don't need it, don't worry about it. Just use your yoga mat or your carpeting. To make this harder, try and hold it for a second, pause, and then try not to touch the ground on the way back. So you can also float both extremities over the top of the ground on your back and forth. Okay, now we're gonna take a one minute rest. So we did three exercises. We're gonna rest for a full minute. So I have the timer going on the side. This is when you wanna breathe. <sighs> Try and breathe, grab some water if you need it. Um, I would also recommend writing down the exercise so that you've got an activity and a journal log of the things that you're doing. That way, if you know, hey, bear crawls were challenging or push-ups were hard to do, you can write that down and have a general idea of what the challenge was for you. So the next time you do this, you can beat some PR, beat, make some PRs or do a little bit better. 20 seconds. <clears throat> so we're gonna run through that whole thing one more time. So the bear crawl, the push-up, and then the bird dog. So let's get into position. <clears throat> and go. Remember, this one's not necessarily about speed. It's very challenging to hold your body weight up even in a slow position, or excuse me, a slow speed. And again, if you need it, go down to those hands and knees. Just do a little reverse crawling. Back and forth, try to keep your chin tucked. When I get tired, my head tends to slouch. That's just something I need to work on. If you find yourself slouching a little bit, just pull it back up. For me, it's more fatigue. When I'm fatigued, I start to get in that position. If you notice that that's something that happens to you, correct it and try and do better. into push-ups. I'm just gonna do push-ups on the ground. Let's do, let's start off with our push-ups on our knees, hands and knees, right? This is perfectly fine. If this is still hard for you, if you can't do a, a push-up on your hands and knees, use the wall. So go over to your wall and just do a body weight wall push-up, right? This is fine. Obviously it's a lot easier than going to the ground, but if you have to, if you're fatiguing and you feel like you can't do a good body weight pushup, just go onto the wall and get your incline pushups in. Let's jump back into our regular pushups. And when we're tired, hands and knees, same thing, keep going all the way to that timer. Timer is done now, bird dogs. So we've got bird dogs for about 60 seconds. Let's jump into that next. Keep breathing. It's very challenging to breathe and talk at the same time. <laughs> Again, for those of you that don't like kneeling on the floor, Toss a yoga mat that's rolled up underneath your knees or kneel on a pillow, something nice and soft. You can make these fast or slow, both are challenging. If you're going for speed, try and prioritize form. If you're going for slow, really try and hold and breathe. Again, if these are too easy, float the arm and leg. Try not to touch as you're going back and forth. Or to make them extremely challenging, come all the way back and touch. Perfect. So that's cluster A. So now we're gonna take a one minute rest again before we jump into cluster B. Take a little breather, rest, grab some water, write some things down. We got 45 more seconds before we get into the next exercise. Whew. Whew. 
I am catching my breath. <laughs> so the next round for B is gonna be shoulder focused. We're gonna be on our hands and knees. Again, I'd recommend if you need to, kneel on a pad or something nice and soft if you can't tolerate being in a kneeling position. No problem. 20 more seconds. And again, three exercises for this next cluster. We're gonna do the same thing. One minute on each and then one minute break after the first round. Whew. Okay. Let's jump into our position first to get ready. We got five more seconds. All right, reach up and all the way back. Reach up and all the way back. We're gonna do the exercise only on the left side for the first round. So his left arm's gonna get tired. Think of swimming. We're trying to swim our arm back Get a little bit of shoulder extension as you're going as well. So really extend that arm all the way up to flexion. Extend and flex. My shoulder joints are popping and cracking right now. It feels great. Way to make this a little easier, bend the arm. So here, make it a little shorter. Think of running in place. Now I also need to correct my head position, try to not overextend my neck. My right arm's getting tired because it's holding me up. Okay, now we're gonna switch into internal external rotation. So we're gonna start here, external, and reach here to internal. External, internal. So touch the back of your head and then touch the back of your spine. Again, don't switch arms, stay with the left one. Your right arm might be on fire from holding you up, that's great. You should feel your abs working a little bit here too. To make this one easier, just go less motion. So just go here to back here, here to back here. Reach as far as you can into that internal external. To make it harder, don't touch. So float your arm above your spine, Float your arm above your spine. This is the harder version, if that's too easy for you. Perfect. One more, still on the right arm, or right arm is down, excuse me. Hand behind the head, reach down, rotate up towards the ceiling. Reach down, rotate up towards the ceiling. Rotate up. To make this one a little less challenging, you can cross your arm across your chest, have a little easier rotation back and forth. You can also get your arm straight out so we can reach here and come all the way out. Reach here, come all the way out. Keep breathing, I know that right arm's tired. This one's working on the shoulder, it's working on the upper back rotation. You're also getting some trunk stability. Although I really hate the phrase stability, but people know what it means. Keep breathing. Okay, so that is the first round of cluster B. I did all of those with my right hand down. So for the next round, I'm gonna do all of them with my left hand down. Take a little break, try and breathe. Grab some water, write it down. I would probably recommend walking around. I'm sitting on camera just so you guys can see me and you kind of know what I'm doing. But if you're doing this at home, I'd recommend walking around and doing more active recovery instead of just sitting on your butt like I'm doing here. 25 more seconds. And then we'll do one more round of B. <clears throat> Again, three exercises. If you need to make them easier, put something underneath your knees or take breaks. Uh, you can also stop in between each movement. You don't have to keep going. Rest whenever you need to. Just try and keep up uh, with the overall pace and tempo. Just move into the next exercise if you need to rest. All right, let's do it. Left arm is down, flexion to extension. So reach forward, reach backward. Reach forward and backward. We're just going back and forth like this. Trying to breathe, trying to keep that neck in a nice position without hyperextending. 
keeping our torso nice and level. Make this easier by bending that elbow back and forth. Or if you really want to make it harder, grab a small little weight. If you grab a three, four, five pound weight for this movement, it's going to be pretty tough. The nice thing is you don't need to have heavy weights as well. You can just hold on to a water bottle, a can of soup, whatever. That's probably about a pound. Or you can fill up a big water bottle, which give you a couple pounds of weight. <clears throat> if you really need a lot of weight, grab a gallon of water. That's another nice, easy way to get some extra movement or extra challenge to these activities. Okay, next one is external to internal. So behind the back, behind the head, behind the back, behind the head. Same thing, going for about a minute. And if you need to, take a rest and breathe. There's no harm in just saying, okay, I need a second. Maybe you're having some pressure in your wrist. Take a second and breathe. Get back into the movement and keep going. For those of you that have some issues with having your wrist on the floor, I would recommend grabbing a soft type of cushioning and put your wrist on that. What that'll do is it'll decrease the amount of extension that's going through your wrist. So something nice and soft while you're reaching back and forth here. Five more seconds. Okay, now we got our thoracic rotation, thread the needle. So we're gonna go up and all the way through, up to the ceiling and all the way through. Hopefully at this point you put on deodorant because you will start to smell it. <laughs> up, all the way through. Another way you can do this is hand behind the head up towards the ceiling, all the way down, or arm across the body, up towards the ceiling, all the way back down. All three of those are fine. 20 more seconds, keep going. Again, keep breathing, try to thread that needle. Great, Whew. almost done. We have one more round. This time it is four exercises. So we're gonna have four exercises that we're gonna be doing. The only one that you need a piece of equipment for is the, so I have an external rotation exercise and a banded curl exercise. So what I have is just a light resistance band. You can use any type of band, it doesn't matter. If you don't have a resistance band, that's fine. I would grab a couple small weights. So something like two or three pounds works just fine. What, literally whatever you have at home. Um, you can grab a water bottle, again, a gallon of water, a gallon of milk, that's fine. Uh, that's probably you know several pounds that you can kind of add some resistance to this movement. I find that a band is just a little bit easier just because it makes it simple to uh, get more of a burn going. All right, so four exercises here. All you need is a resistance band. First exercise is side plank. So we're gonna go into this position. This is the easier version, easier version. So if you're having challenge or ha having trouble with the side plank, try this one to start. So my shoulder is straight up and down. I'm trying to pull my chest up tall, chin is slightly tucked, and then we're just hanging out in this position. To make this harder, all you have to do, straighten those legs all the way out and go into a plank position there. So harder version. You can also side plank here and add in some hip movements. So we'll do like an extra range of motion clamshell here to make this one a little harder. Again, don't have to make it harder. You can also make this easier by putting your hip on the ground and just bracing from this position. This will work your shoulder a little bit more than it will your torso and your abs. So this is perfectly acceptable. Next one we're gonna call the prone T. So I'm actually gonna flip the hat around. Things are getting real serious. <clears throat> You're gonna go onto your stomach, straighten your arms all the way out, and we're gonna try and lift our arms off the floor. So here, I believe I can fly type of thing.
If this is too hard, bring those arms down closer to the body. This should be a little easier. This one works some of the scapular muscles. We're trying to get back into the shoulder blades here. And you can also smell that your carpeting needs to be vacuumed. Okay. Next exercise, I'm gonna do in a kneeling position just so you can see me. We're gonna do some shoulder, or excuse me, some biceps, uh, or excuse me, shoulder external rotation. I'm jumping ahead. <clears throat> Starting here, coming out. Super easy, simple. Just a basic rotator cuff exercise. What I'm trying to do is keep my elbows close to my body, so I don't wanna flare out. I, you shouldn't be going all the way out here. Elbows close to the body, out to the side. Nice, smooth, controlled motion, just like I'm doing here. To make this easier, just choke up on the band or whatever you're holding. If you don't have a band, just do active range of motion. This works just fine. Looks silly, but it works. And finally, because no exercise would be complete without arm day, let's do some biceps curls. For this one, I'm gonna be kneeling. I recommend you stand so that you can actually get good range of motion, but I'm just gonna kneel so you can see me on the camera. Super easy, biceps curl. Nothing to it. But as we know, every day is arm day. <clears throat> For this, I would say use uh, some small weights if you have them. You can use, again, a gallon of water. That's perfectly fine. I find a band works nicely here just because you can do a lot of reps, but weights work just fine as well. So after our biceps curl here, we're going to take a one minute rest and then we're going to go into our last cluster of exercises. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so we have one minute rest. Catch your breath, walk around, get your water. If you need to, pause the video. If this is too challenging for you or you feel like you can't go through all these, just pause the video, take a break as long as you need to and hit start. There is no shame in resting or taking more time. I'd rather you have good quality movement than just fly through all this with terrible form. Gotta catch my breath here. Now, for the side plank, I stayed on my right side for the first one. I want you to switch to the other side. So I did my right. If you did your right as well, go to your left, all right? <clears throat> so I'm just going to get ready. I'm going to get set up in the position. Again, side plank for a minute. If you can, legs straight. If not, knees bent. <clears throat> I'm going to my left side. Now, last time I added in some extra range of motion clamshells. This is bonus points. You don't have to do this. I just like it. Let's see if I can go the whole minute. Probably not, but we're gonna try. This is the time to challenge yourself. We've only got a couple more exercises left. Really see what you got. The beauty of this one is it looks like it really worked the top leg a lot, and it does a little, but the bottom leg is the one that is just on fire. Oh man. 15 more seconds, keep going. Oh man, this sucks. Oh, all right, we're gonna jump into our prone T now. So lying on the stomach, head in the ground. All right, and we're gonna lift our arms up and down, trying to really get a good contraction in the shoulder blades. If you wanna make that a little easier, just bring those arms down a little bit lower. Same general idea. 
we're trying to lift up and down for the duration here. Focus on getting a really good contraction. You can hold for a couple seconds. You can also tuck your chin to make that a little more challenging. Keep breathing. Face is nice and close to the to the carpeting that could be vacuumed a little better. All right, let's jump into the external rotations. I'm kneeling here, you don't have to. I'm just doing it so you guys can see me in the camera. And my arms are burning right now. Hopefully yours are as well. If you need to, drop that band. Just do active motion. Pick that band up when you need it. Jump right back in. You can tell I'm getting tired because I'm talking less. Last exercise, let's do this. Get those curls going. Again, weights work just fine here. Substitute that in for the band if you need to. I just prefer the band. Thirty more seconds and then we're done for the day. Keep breathing. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Come on, get ten more reps. Nicely done, guys. Grab some water. If you want more of these exercise videos that you can do at home with minimal uh, equipment and just body weight, let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below and hit that subscribe button if you'd like me to make more in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that home exercise routine. I'm currently working on a lower body and a spine focused. Uh, mobility routine that we can also do um, in this same fashion. If you have any questions or any suggestions for what you'd like to see in the future, please drop a comment below and let me know. I really hope that this was helpful for you guys, especially right now with everyone having to stay at home and work out on their own. I appreciate you guys for checking out the videos.